showcasing business coast to coast. It's the John Robert Quinn Show. Welcome to the show. Good evening, Sacramento. How are you doing? I am John Robert Quinn, the most amazing, most incredible man in the world. That is not that is not true. That is not the truth, folks. All right. So uh, this is the John Robert Quinn Show, episode 23. we got George Romanski. We've got Daniel Root. So, Mr. Dan Root, back for visit number three. Glad to be back. So, uh, you've been here, you had the first visit, you had the second visit, now you've got your own show coming on, uh, July 4th, that premieres, and um, what have you seen so far with the process and how everything, from from start to where you're at now? Actually, I really do recommend your services. Okay. I, I've been wanting to do this kind of thing for the longest time because uh, I really feel that education is the key to what I do mm -hmm. because people do not understand what's going on with the toxins that we're being exp exposed to every day. So uh, your process has really helped me to get out there and educate, and I, I really highly recommend you. It's funny because I'm driving down the road and I'm like, there's a toxic person, there's a toxic person. Everybody the is. The guy's smoking, there's a toxic person. <laughs> yeah. He's got a booze bottle, that's a toxic person. Thinking to myself, like, if I could just get out of the car right now and just hand business cards to every one of these people. Please do. You know, I mean, that's, that's, that's what it's about, though, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. that, that's what we're doing. We're talking to people on the radio. We're leveraging those business cards by the listeners, by the viewers and everyone. And, uh, and that's what this whole thing is about. So um, tell me a little bit about the new show, first of all. Well, the show actually is uh, more of a, of a book, if you will, because I've been trying to write this book called Don't Just Detox, Get Detoxinated. Mm -hmm. But the, um, the chapters of the book are pretty much what I plan to uh, reveal in the show. Now, are you going to build it into a series like we, uh, we talked about, where you have the, the different books for the different parts of the business? Absolutely. Uh, I think it's the smartest approach. Um, if somebody wants to learn about vitamin B6, or B, is it B3 or B3. B6? B3, niacin. niacin. If they want to learn about that, there should be a whole book on that. Mm -hmm. And if the book is 60 pages, it's 60 pages. But at the end of the day, you have a, a stronger ROI, mm -hmm. and you have an audience that's finding you based on that topic rather than passing by you. They want to find about that. They're going to buy that book. Right. And, and of course, the, you know each book will tie into the next piece of the series. Exactly. And today's show, we're even going to be talking about some of the things that are going to be on that first episode or second episode where we're talking mm -hmm. more about how to live a uh, more toxin-free life. Um, and anti-aging is key to this. Mm -hmm. Now, we've recorded two so far? Mm -hmm. So tomorrow we'll record episode three. Right. Okay, so we're right on track. Beautiful. All right, so tell me a little bit about what it is that you actually do. So the, the whole process that we're doing is we're helping people to eliminate or reduce their exposures to the toxins that are causing most chronic illnesses and diseases, including cancers. So everybody out there is being exposed in every type of method possible. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're seeing, you know, the, the food is, is really toxic. Mm -hmm. The, the water is toxic. The flooring, the, uh, the new cars even as we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, the new car smell. There's the new glues, car smell. there's, there's um, plastics, there's all kinds of mm -hmm. stuff that they're putting in there and we're breathing all of that in. And, uh, you know, the tar on the road and the smog on the road, you're driving by and there's a semi-truck and it's blowing smoke. Um, just all the, everything, and we're just breathing all of that into our body. Right. And then our fatty cells are storing all of mm -hmm. that. Yes, exactly. So I'm learning. Yeah, the, the, the body's capable of processing normal toxins, or what we call water-soluble toxins. Mm -hmm. So the, the liver and the kidneys and the colon do a great job. However, they're getting overwhelmed by all the toxins that are out there right now. So uh, other things like heavy metals, persistent organic pollutants, and synthetic chemicals are all getting absorbed into our fat because the body's never dealt with these in all the you know evolution or uh, in all the years that we've you know been on the planet so uh, in the last couple of hundred years there's been more toxic chemicals produced by man over a hundred thousand in fact are currently being manufactured and out of that less than 10 percent have been actually you know uh, tested against human subjects for uh, safety so and even less than that uh, less than one percent have been tested for any kind of uh, combinations um, I, for me, you know, I think about, um, I remember, you know, the wife and I, we, we, you know, we, we buy bottled water and, and even though the, it's better than the stuff that's in the sink, but it's still not great. 
Uh, it still has its own issues. Um, but we drink the bottled water, and then what happens when we run out of bottled water? We immediately go to the faucet, and, we, and it, it's almost got like this grainy taste to it. It's, it's it tastes like dirt. It's, it's got a grainy taste. Sure, you know the sediments. That, yeah. yeah, and it's and and that's what we're drinking. And that's what mm-hmm. we're putting in our in our bodies. And then you know, of course, there's fluoride, and there's all these different things that they're putting in there. Explain to me the effects that these have and what these things are. Well, a lot of the chemicals are producing um, everything from the uh, cancers and uh, the inflammation is the biggest problem. Inflammation is what is causing most diseases because the body's having to react to these chemicals in your system. Mm-hmm. So the um, neurodegenerative diseases, um, your, your chronic fatigue, your chronic pain, mm-hmm. uh, joint pain or um, even uh, rheumatoid arthritis, things like that are all being caused by these toxins. And there's also the poor nutrition because the, the food that we're eating is, is well, toxic yeah, I mean, and been processed out of any nutritional value. Correct. I'll probably stop and get drive through on the way home. I know the Romanskis is a lot like me. We talked about uh, we talked about Jack in the Box tacos one time and got big old smiles on our faces. I, I know. About it. I know. But you know, it's funny because they're I mean, disgusting, aren't they? Yeah, they're disgusting. But as I get older, I mean, the, you know, his topic actually intrigues me. I, I just got back from my doctor's appointment and did some blood work on me and knock on wood there's no diabetes nothing like that at all but my uh, cholesterol is a little bit high and the he said that i'm lacking some vitamin d so maybe that wouldn't be sun we yeah we could talk a little bit okay well i've been inside working my butt off all the whole time yeah mm-hmm. they told I'm me that inside my... listing home so it's like i can't they no, told me my no triglycerides are up, uh, whatever that is. I have no clue. Basically, it's the fatty uh, acids and things that are uh, actually where the toxins get stored, believe it or not. So uh, your your fat cells are lipids. So fat cells are basically absorbing these toxins. Uh, but the like I said, the body can process normal toxins mm-hmm. like uh, that can be converted to water-soluble. But um, the the real problem is the ones that are fat stored, and that's yeah. what we deal with. And that's why you know that's where fatigue comes from. That's why uh, where our, our cl- cloudiness in our head comes from. That's where um, you know we eat and we feel like crap afterward. Mm-hmm. You know, it's because it's it's that's that's what it is. It is the 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 toxins. Mm-hmm. And what you guys do is. Um, is you uh, not eliminate it because it's almost impossible to eliminate it, but Correct. you dramatically reduce it, guaranteeing a seventy to a hundred percent improvement. In improvement. Symptoms. Correct. Yes. Now the thirty percent is what we're uh, actually able to uh, empirically justify as far as the, the uh, body burden reduction. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but you know the the, the toxins that um, that we're dealing with are so bad and so um, e- invasive to us that. Most people don't even understand what is happening to them, and the fluoride is is one of the reasons why it dumbs us down. Mm-hmm. So you know we're getting basically hit from all sides, and uh, is that what's wrong with our millennials? They just they're full of toxins. Is that, that why they're so dumb? Honestly, Let's not even go there with them. <laughs> Please come on. Honestly, there's a big problem with estrogen in the water, and the estrogen is coming from all sources. Uh, Women, they, they take the pregnancy pill mm-hmm. uh, and they basically uh, urinate this out into our water system, which Correct. the water system is unable to process these synthetic chemicals. And estrogen is, is part of that. So uh, our water processing systems only deal with biological waste. And so I, anything chemical or toxic is, is not being filtered out. So here's the thing. I think that if anybody is grossed out by this and wants to contest it, look it up. Yes, absolutely. Research it. it. Research it. If you think that he's full of baked beans, research it. Because there's a reason why he's sitting in this chair. There's a reason why he has a show. There's a reason why he has the experience he has, and he's second generation. There's a reason why he's doing this. All right, so uh, I can't wait. Yeah, he looks he looks like Thank freaking you. Mario Lopez. Does he not look like yeah, Mario Lopez? Does. I'll even admit I'm 55 this year. So, you know, you want to look this good at 55? I know. Yeah, he seriously, he looks like Mario course, Lopez. He mentioned something about the estrogen being leaked into the uh, waterways and stuff. And maybe that's why we're having all the crying rooms at the uh, college. Because <laughs> the guys are drinking that water somehow. Maybe that's wrong with the leftists. They're just all the estrogen. <laughs> exactly, it's all the estrogen. I mean, that is, that is a woman chemical. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, sorry, sorry we, ladies. We solved the protest problem. There sorry, you know. ladies. I mean, <laughs> cry babies. This is kind of an all male show oh right now. Okay, so oh goodness gracious, that's funny. Uh, Dan Root, getdetoxinated.com. Getdetoxinated.com. 916-366-0999. 916-366-0999. We're gonna go to a break. We're gonna come back and wrap up. We'll be right back. Sports. 
Showcasing business coast to coast. It's the John Robert Quinn Show. Welcome back to the most amazing, most incredible show, the John Robert Quinn Show. Segment 4 is brought to you by Cherry Frame, 916-899-1743. Do you have peace of mind when it comes to your retirement? If not, you need to have that serious heart-to-heart with Cherry. Learn more at cherryframe.net. You've met Cherry, yep. right? You've met Cherry. Yep. Steve's lady. met Cherry. Brilliant, brilliant, mm-hmm. brilliant woman. And, and personally, she's one of my closest friends. It's so funny. All of my close friends are all like old. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> They're old. They're old. Hey, I'm like mid 30, so you guys are old Please, compared to pup. me. <laughs> Look at Steve's back there laughing. Oh my god. <laughs> all of my friends all have one. You know what's gonna be funny is is you guys are all gonna come out to my concert and all these like gray haired, white haired people are gonna be out in the audience. I'll, and I'll be bring like, my cane with me, okay? Well, good thing her. the show starts at seven thirty. You guys can yeah, be home for Jeopardy. Exactly. <laughs> I don't watch TV. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I do listen to the radio, though. Oh, goodness gracious. That's just classic. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Mr. Dan Root, what have you done to become healthier? You know, that's a very good question because uh, if people just learn to change their mindset about what they're choosing for their body, you know, things like uh, what kind of water do you drink, um, grow your own vegetables if you can, mm-hmm. just a few mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you have to buy organic uh, food from the store because you're not growing it yourself, and by the way, I did say organic because you don't want to be buying just any kind of food at the stores. You're telling me that that canned tomatoes are not good. No. Okay. Especially since the can lining may have BPA in it. Yeah, which, exactly. By the way, we're talking about estrogen in the water. Well, BPA in bottles and cans is very well known for being a, an endocrine disruptor or actually causing uh, mutation in the genes. Well, here's the thing thing is is we're talking about such small traces yet it compounds right everything stores in the fat it compounds and it becomes a bigger problem and a bit bigger problem and a bigger problem. and what's funny is is you see a post on facebook i think i think you actually commented on one it says we had bread for five thousand years but within the last five everyone's glue close and tolerant yeah why is that it's because of all the crap we have in our bodies exactly now. And also, we've got the uh, pesticide or herbicide problem with the fact that the GMOs are allowing for more uh, of the herbicides to be sprayed onto them. And then they also will use that to desiccate the the wheat before they make the bread. Mm -hmm. So the problem is so much greater. But uh, let me tell you a little bit more about what I do. So I I do uh, have a vegetable garden and a Mm -hmm. fruit orchard. Mm -hmm. um, And I don't have that big of a backyard. It's just that uh, I've structured it so that it's more uh, usable that way. Uh, The other thing too is is that I've got one of the best filters on the market, which is a Berkey water filter. Mm -hmm. Um, I also, uh, we make our own toothpaste, so we don't have fluoride. uh, Oh, really? That's right. And uh, And you have all of your original teeth. (laughs) I do, as a matter of fact. Okay, so that defuncts that nonsense, doesn't it? I also got rid of all my amalgam fillings because of the mercury. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that is something that should not be taken lightly. If you do this, make sure you use a biological dentist or one who is very familiar with the, uh, the toxic well, mess. Well, if that, people that don't makes. have an, if they don't know what the, how a mercury how mercury affects your body, go and uh, do some research on Abraham Lincoln and look at what the things he was yeah. dealing with, with with his uh, I think it was an, an antidepressant uh, medis- medication I that he was so. taking that had mercury in it. It made him into a into a, a nut job. Mm-hmm. Really? It made you didn't know this. I didn't it know made that. him crazy. To the point where he was beating people up at the can, on the campaign. Yeah. Really? Almost didn't become president because of his blue pills. Yeah. Very interesting, huh? And Very as soon as he quit taking the mercury, all of a sudden he was a normal person again. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And the other thing I do is I have a, a chlorine filter on my showers. Mm-hmm. Um, so we, we make sure that uh, we're not exposed as much to the chlorine. In fact, in my hot tub, I'm using a product that allows me to use a significantly less amount of chlorine. So we don't get that, that horrible chlorine smell and you know, blonde mm-hmm. girls don't turn green and all that. So, mm-hmm. um, but... <laughs> <laughs> blonde girls. <laughs> Oh goodness! It reminds me of that one song that Blondie had um, about the guitars and and the alien come down. And eat oh. your head. Remember that one? Yes. Remember that? 
<laughs> uh, it's just too funny. No, but you're absolutely right. I mean, go to go to a water park and smell right. disgusting. You know, just everything. It, yeah. And, and I think I was mentioning that if you have to buy your food at the store um, and you're not growing it yourself, then they make a product you can spray to remove any toxins that are coated over these. So uh, can I vegetables. spray my uh, my my uh, Chef Boyardee and my SpaghettiOs? And will... Not a, none of amount. No amount <laughs> would would take care of the problem there. Are you serious? You still eat Chef Boyardee? Dude, SpaghettiOs are, are so me? bomb. Have you had SpaghettiOs with meatballs me? lately? Yeah. They are so good, you, dude. You got this expert here. I know, and you're right? telling them you eat all Chef Boyardee. I'm of, all I'm thinking about, I swear Wait. to you right now, all I'm thinking about are Sobe and Lunchables. That's, That's what's right, going right. through my head right now. <laughs> he ought to get up and slap you in the head right now. Just just whack, whack across the head. Now, I, I have to say, though, there, there is the 80-20 rule that I do live by. So 80% of the time I'm eating right and I'm doing the right things right. as far as decisions go on, on what I put onto or into my body. Uh, especially, you know, anything that's uh, uh, the skin, you know, is going to mm-hmm. absorb everything you put on it. So anything that's got chemicals is going to go straight into your skin. And that's where actually most of the bioaccumulation occurs. So well, you're also doing a reverse compound then. Instead of, you know, putting 100% in, okay, you're, you're putting re- 80 in. And so you're constantly flushing yourself out. With a larger, you know, larger. So I think, I think, I think what, part out. of what he yeah. does is he uses his Berkey filter at home and cleans his shot glasses and then goes to the bar and just sucks down whiskey all Oh, night. my God. <laughs> I know nothing. I admit to oh nothing. Oh, my God. But, no, 80-20. That's a good rule to live by. So. No, absolutely. Because what you're doing is you're reducing. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, you still have to live. We are living in a dirty world. It is what it is. Absolutely. Okay? It but is when you get toxic... Come to us because we'll get you detoxinated. And now we've got about like about a minute and a half or so before I've got to go to our close. Um, talk to me about your saunas. So the, the full spectrum infrared is what we use at our centers because the full spectrum gets into the different layers of the tissues and all the way down to about an inch and a half deep to where the sebaceous sweat can be uh, drawing out those toxins. That's the sticky sweat. That's that sticky sweat that mm-hmm. you don't normally get when you're just uh, working out in the yard mm-hmm. or whatever. But um, the uh, the saunas themselves are great for fatigue. They're great for, uh, like I said, cellular regeneration or healing. Um, and the the, uh, the chronic pains and all kinds of uh, inflammatory issues not can sleeping be dealt with. well mm-hmm. not eating well Correct. indigestion believe it or not because your body is storing all that crap that's right and so we do sell them and we're the only clear light jacuzzi sauna dealer in the region so uh, please you know come down and try one for 15 minutes but i'd like you to make an appointment since we've got people in the program um so get detoxinated.com 916-366-0999 get detoxinated.com 916-366-0999 and also the new show get detoxinated with dan root on money 1055 with me emceeing um uh starting july 4th uh 10 p.m again 105.5 fm congrats on your on your new show though thank I'm you very much you. absolutely yes I'm again, tune congrats. in both you guys you have yours yeah. as well when does yours air um you have it since you have the schedule set up so all right just go to uh, whitepay6percent.com brilliant, brilliant it's, it's one it's that's right All right, have a good night, guys. Thanks, John.